show because I just want to see how far I can take it. I want to get to the point where the audience says, no, we're not doing okay. In fact, you've very much upset me and I would like a refund. At that point, I will then say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's how that interaction will go down. I haven't been back in Pittsburgh in about a year. It's been a long year and it's been, it's been a spiritual year. Yes, you may not know this, but the corporations and the man sent me because I was too threatening to the entire infrastructure of the world to the bottom of the East River. And while I was at the bottom of the East River, I had what I would like to call a spiritual rebirth. I found my angel. For years I've been looking for an angel to watch over me to please shut the fuck up while I'm talking. Imagine you interrupted Joel Osteen. What do you think he would say? Probably the same thing. Maybe in a more Christian version. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. I'm not an asshole. It's an act. It's a character. Anyway, I found my angel and I heard his beautiful sage wisdom and I felt his warm cherry breath from beneath his golden locks. And tonight, I think you're going to hear him too. Listen! Here he comes. Justin Bieber here. <laughs> Justin! It's been so long since you last visited me, I, I thought you had forsaken me. Your hair is... In fact, it's the most beautiful I've ever seen. It That must take you hours. Um, no, I just wake up and blow dry it. Well, whatever you do, it looks amazing, Justin. <laughs> I'm so glad you've come tonight here in Pittsburgh because I need you now more than ever. I'm in a very... a club. <laughs> with people. And, you know, it's, it's just getting hard. I've been doing this for 13 years, Justin. My blood, sweat, and tears poured out. And all I have to show for it is a you losers on YouTube singing my songs. 850 people put videos on YouTube. Well, 850 may sound like a lot of people, Justin, but honestly, you've affected millions of people all over the world with your somewhat mediocre music and really non-existent talent. Explain it to me. How do you do that? How do you explain that? They're addicted to the beat. They're so addicted to the beat. Yeah, I'm a beast. You're such a beast. Uh, I won eight awards. Eight, eight awards? Um, I have a double black belt. That is exactly the reason why I've come, or I, I, I want your knowledge, Justin, is uh, I'm in a spot here, and, and, and really, I just, I just need to know, what is your Saskatchewan secret? Yeah, I've had to answer that question about five million times. I can only imagine. Yeah, I'm a beast. You're such a beast. <laughs> yeah, I'm a beast. You're such a beast. You said I got to perform for uh, President Obama. Obama? I'm single. What? I'm single. You're single? I'd like to be everything you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm a beast. <laughs> when it gets down to it, Justin, it's, it's just like this. I mean... I followed the path to fame and fortune, which is all I ever wanted, and somehow it's led me to this awful, twisted place. And, and, and here you are with your beautiful lesbian face, and I just, I just need to know. I, I need some kernel of wisdom from inside your temple of celebrity. A lot of people think that it's a product that people put together and package and put out there. You can't surround yourself stuff with, with that. People will always do that because then you just you just start believing that stuff. That's really good advice, Justin. That's actually very mature. What, what, you, got, you got anything else for me? Uh, I read The Power of Background Music. <laughs> I think yeah, it feels yeah. good. <laughs> it feels so good, Justin. <laughs> so fucking bad. Nobody looks for love in the Chinese restaurant. Five and seven and a smile like a beauty queen from a movie scene. Not a man from 83, if you know what I mean. Been in five minutes since you did a single thing. So I think I'll never forget. Everybody wants to be famous. Now that I am in the heat of the sun, I'll be a someone. 
I noticed there's a lot of woos and yeahs, which is sort of like crowd language that you're somewhat aroused. But it's really important that you understand that you don't pay my bills. This is this is my time that you are on. It's borrowed because I, and for years I depended on my fan base too. But I realized you're completely, totally inconsistent and frivolous. So why would I ever expect you? Oh, thank you very much, man. Give it up. expect that from a group of people to appreciate art and give me money. So instead, I have taken a total other route and I have actually adopted a corporate sponsor for this tour. Um, and we're going to actually do a little commercial for that that product. It's a pharmaceutical company. You may have heard of them. Merck Pharmaceuticals. They're pretty big, yeah. And uh, anyway, I want my unique artistic identity towards them, towards their new product. And this may be a problem that you suffer from. So you should, you should listen to this carefully. You know that feeling of being misunderstood? Of having your innermost desires go and hurt? Worried you're the only one that feels this way? Actually, you could be one of 16 million Americans with symptoms of singer-songwriter disorder. The Lardol, a prescription medication, can help. It works to correct the chemical imbalance in the brain, which may cause you to think you can write songs. In time, you can overcome the need to perform your music in front of unwilling listeners. Only your doctor can diagnose singer-songwriter disorder. Side effects may include a new appreciation for the value of art, as well as an excessive need to buy CDs at this show. Talk to your doctor about the lot off today, before it's too late, and you end up like this. <laughs> Uh, 
offended the John Mayer fans there. Even <laughs> the celebrities suffer. All right.